Hello everyone, welcome back. Nate here with 911 Rapid Response. And on today's vehicle showcase, we have for you a model year 20 Ford Police Interceptor Utility. Upfitted for the Lebanon City Police Department. We'll go ahead and start with the warning package that we have installed. Rooftop light bar, Wheel and Liberty 2 Duo, 54 inch length. Red and white on the driver's side, blue and white on the passenger side. Center takedowns. Vehicle is currently in neutral with the emergency brake on, so we have our white flashing active just for some extra warning visuals when we go around the vehicle here. Further down, we have the factory headlight flashers enabled. Around the side of the vehicle, OEM mounting location for the hideaway there, wheel and vertex, blue and white on the passenger side, red and white on the driver's side. It's from intersection warning there. Uh, we don't have a push bumper here. And if we come around a little bit further, you can get a good look at our market graphics edition, completed in-house, wrapped the doors white, and then the verbiage, City of Lebanon and Police, logo there on the front fender, vehicle identification number there on the C-pillar, and the emergency 911 on the rear quarter. Cruise around to the rear of the vehicle. Finalize the warning additions. OEM locations for the hideaways and the tail lamps. Blue and white on the passenger, red and white on the driver, wheel and vertex. And a side of each, a side of the license plate on each side. Red and blue T ions. Alternating there with the vertexes and we'll have that red and amber and blue and amber warning out of the rear of the light bar uh, with the duo function there. Taking a look at the rear cargo area with the hatch up, another addition, our 911 just box it team, manufactured a very simple organizer here, a few different size storage locations for miscellaneous gear, equipment, And if we cruise around to the side, we can take a look at our prisoner containment equipment. Window bars there on the door, Pro Guard. In addition to that Pro Guard package, we have the Pro Guard flat panel partition there in the front. Poly sliding window. Replacement transport seat. And this has the standard seat belt option rather than the outboard seat belt with the center pull mechanism. And accompanying that seat, we have the cargo barrier with the poly upper window. All right, folks, inside this interceptor, we're gonna go ahead and go over the aftermarket equipment additions here, starting with the console. Console provided by Havis. We have the vehicle specific angled console here relocated 12 volt USB and emergency brake at the top and the side of the console here. First edition at the top, the wheel and HHS 4206. This is the rotary knob controller, the variant of the 4200 system. We can device, so that's pairing with our we can light bar, multitude of functionality. We'll go over some of that programming here and uh, functions momentarily. Customer supplied radio, radio, on, uh, radio mic on the magnetic mic mount there on the left hand side, wheel and PA mic on the right side, down a little bit further some more 12 volt power points, customer supplied VASCAR system for speed timing, and dual cup holders. At the rear of the console we have the audio recording device, it's body worn provided by the customer and mounted on the center of the flat panel partition we have the radio speaker. 
passenger side additions to this console, universal laptop mount, which will be added by the client. On the TCB7 there, swivel device with the quick release dock or mount, we have the TG3 keyboard. And that's gonna pair up with their hybrid laptop. Other additions, GTAC Veritos in-car camera system. So to the right side, we have the camera, the GTAC camera mounted there. And then further back, we have the GTAC Veritos display system. All right, folks, on to functionality. And we'll go ahead and start at the rear of the vehicle as we typically do with slider position one. This is gonna give us rear of the light bar and the lighting that we have at the rear of the vehicle in the tail lamps and on the tailgate. Arrow function in the light bar. Again, do a functionality with the amber override there. Come around the vehicle, we'll activate position two. As far as the warning package that we have installed here, position two is just going to turn on the front of the light bar in addition to the rear function that we just went over. Take the vehicle out of park, activate position three. That'll add in our red, white, blue, white vertexes in the headlamp, headlamp flashers, and white flashing in the light bar. Park killing our white flash. We go around to the front of the vehicle and touch on some other functions that we have. Park is also slowing the flash pattern down. A double flash there, full half alternating. Take down. Two press our left alley and right alleys. We have a scene button that's gonna give us all of our white function in the light bar. Low power. Go ahead and knock a switch off. A corner function, minimal warning, just the corners of the light bar. Cruise function. And lastly, a dimmer switch for the HHS 4200 control head here. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up today's vehicle showcase. Thanks again for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on all of our social media outlets. Plenty of content to come. We're gonna close out this year strong. Another great project here. Thanks again to the client for the opportunity and congratulations on the new vehicle. Thanks and we'll catch you next time.